previous videos, we've been going over what Patricia Walden calls friends for life. The standing poses that are so common in Hatha Yoga classes. We went over Warrior 2, which looks something like this. We then went over Triangle, which looks something like that. And now we want to go over Warrior 1. The difference in the feet in Warrior 1 is important to develop a good posture, good form in the pose. Instead of having a parallel line from second toe to heel that then extends back through the opposite heel, you actually want hips with distance between the feet. If you went from mountain pose, which we've covered, parallel lines, second toe to heel, both feet, hips width distance apart, you would step back and there would still be hips width distance apart between the heels. The right foot does turn out, the left foot does continue facing forward. And if we were doing something akin to Warrior 2, it would mean that our hips would essentially be opening out. In Warrior 1, the stance is slightly different. We'll build up to the hip posture, but starting at the feet, we again, what? Lift the toes, spread them out, provide the lift in the arches that we want, provide a small shift in the ankle bones, a small shift in the tarsals in the feet. Then the kneecaps are lifted. My hips will then do the following. My hips, my guns, we're in Texas, are facing out this way as I'm looking towards the cam camera. What I then do is take my guns and I'm facing them forward towards the 90 degree foot, the one in this case which is my left out and forward. So I'm turning the hips forward. You may have to shift several times through your hips to be able to get this rotation. So I'm still lifting the kneecaps. I'm engaging the quadriceps. The hips are forward. My guns face out this direction. So I'm getting an opening through the front of my right hip. Then I will begin to bend the front leg. For me, I'm going to walk my foot a little further forward so I get just a little bit more work in my quadricep. I'll have to shift again through the hips facing forward. And 90 degrees through the leg. The hips, the guns face forward, and the arms can start out if you prefer. You can play with the arms, the rotation, movement of the arms. You can have them out in the front. Again, still 90 degrees, the knee is always above the ankle. The one portion of the pose where you could injure yourself, that's very important. Then eventually, guns still facing forward, you have to open through the front of the right hip, I'm going to lift my arms up and have the palms together in prayer hands. You're lifting, lengthening the spine. You can retract the neck gently. You're lifting up and out. And to come out, you can lift the leg you can slowly, again, what? Turn. You'll have to reposition the feet. Again, hips width distance apart. If it makes it easier for you, start in mountain pose and then step back. There would still be hips width distance between the feet. Warrior 2 looks like this. Warrior 1 looks like this. So, Hips width distance. I'm going to lengthen my stance just a little. My arches are lifted. My kneecaps are lifted so that my quadriceps are contracted. Slowly I'm turning 
I'm inviting my guns to face forward, the same direction that my second toe is pointing. If you find that at 45 degrees, you don't get as much rotation, maybe there's a slight difference in your hips, you can always turn the foot a little bit more than 45. Just make sure that the hips are, in fact, facing forward. You're inviting an opening now through this left hip to go forward. I'll have my arms out. I can then bend the front leg to 90 degrees. The knee is above the ankle. The hips, the guns, out and forward. The spine is lifted, long, lengthened. Chin can be gently tucked, neck retraction, spine lifted. The arms, again, you can move them. I like the lift, the prayer hands. Squeeze the belly in, turn the guns forward, lift the spine, breathe comfortably through your nose. When you come out, you can lift the front leg, and you can see that this can be an easy transition, pose to pose. If I move my stance from here back to here, I can always go back into warrior two. I can always lift and shorten my stance and go into triangle. So you can very easily transition from pose to pose. They have slight uh, differences in the hips, in the mobility, rotation, stretching, and strengthening of the hips. And most of them have a commonality of trying to strengthen the legs. They're pulling your energy center down. Uh, Americans are often stuck here. Yoga has you pull your energy center down to hara, below the belly button. Um, it's drawing your energy down so that you, f you feel grounded. I'll see you again soon on robertgardnerwellness.com.